Warmer weather means all sorts of creatures are coming out, sometimes too close for comfort. Just this week, we've covered man o' war washing ashore, ticks on the rise, and bed bugs making themselves known. Well, tonight we bring you a story about a different, equally creepy critter, snakes. The Palmetto Poison Center saying snake bite numbers are up 30 percent this year. So I spoke to an expert to find out what you need to know to avoid a bite. They hiss, slither, and sometimes rattle. Chances are they're one of the last things you want to stumble upon. They do defend themselves if we get really close to them and frighten them so that they think we're going to harm them. The Palmetto Poison Center saying snake bites are up 30 percent from April 2016 to April 2017. Uh, they'll bite us if you step on them or touch them. Sometimes people get bitten trying to kill a snake. Ted Clamp with the Edisto Island Serpentarium says a mild winter and early spring could be to blame. Most of our spring has been warm, and that's what causes snakes to move. And in the spring, they begin to look for food. We, too, come out more often in the spring. We want to get out and work in the garden or, or plant corn in the field or do, do things in the yard, raking leaves. Raising the chances of crossing paths. Snakes move from one place to another and, and their instinct is to hide. They hide in the leaves that we sometimes pick up when we're raking them. Often in your own backyard. Clamp says tidying up beforehand could save you a nasty bite. If you want to try to uh, keep snakes out of your your yard or off your property, you need to keep it clean. The less coverage they have on the ground, the less likely they'll choose to stay. No debris lying around on the ground, boards or tin or anything like that. Those are perfect places for snakes to, to live under. And when you are outside, always be aware. If you always look where you put your hands and your feet, you won't get bitten by a snake. If you do get bit, Clam says it's important to stay calm. If the bite is minor, seek medical attention and go to the nearest hospital. If you think the snake is poisonous, call 911 so they can transport you and start treating you as soon as possible. Laura, I, I know you're not a fan of snakes, but we do like this weather we've been having pretty cool. I can't guarantee that I will stay calm if I'm bit by a snake. They weren't as bad as you'd think. I, I